Welcome to this screencast about the send out data type that was introduced in the newsletter studio version 1.3.2. The send out data type uh, is used to send newsletters from the content section, not from within here, the newsletter studio section, but from in the content section. Uh, some sites has this set up where you have a, a newsletters section on the site. So you actually keep the content of the newsletters uh, on the side, on a page on the side. That uh, could look something like this. It's just a Twitter bootstrap thing. Um, so we're actually keeping the newsletters uh, on the site. And we would like to use this content as the source for our newsletters. Um, before this data type was introduced, what you could do was to copy the content and paste it into the newsletter. And we don't want to do that. We would like to work uh, uh, a little bit better. So to start out, we're going to go to the developer section and just have a look at the data type um, called Newsletter Studio Sendout. And it's a render control of the type Newsletter Studio Sendout. It's got a very simple setup, a default skin. At this moment, uh, the install skin, which is just very simple skin uh, within Newsletter Studio. If you want to know more about skins, you can just read the documentation uh, about that. Um, going over to the content section, we're going to add a new tab on this uh, uh, document type, and we're going to add the newsletter send out data type. So we know that this is a text page. So going over to the settings, look at the text page and add a new tab called Newsletter. And then a generic property called Newsletter as well. And I'll type Newsletter Studio Send Out and then we're gonna put that on the Newsletter tab, save that. So now when we go over here, we do have our tab and we can see that we could actually send this right now. Um, before we do that, we could preview. And then we see that this actually grabs the whole content of uh, of the site of this page yeah. <laughs> looks the same so it just grabs that into the newsletter which is not that good um, so how do we solve this it's very simple you just go over to the settings um, section and before you go there you can check that the template that you're using is the text page template um, and then go to the settings section and you will find the text page template here. Um, and this is the template that we're using. So I'm gonna copy, first just copy this because I'm gonna need that for later. Um, and then I'm gonna right click templates just to make sure that we don't have any master template here. So um, I'm gonna call this text page newsletter. And this is the magical part here. It's the, the name of the original uh, template and then just add newsletter afterwards. So if this was your master template, it would be master newsletter. Um, so, and then you go ahead and click, click create. And inside here, you can, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste in my code that I grabbed earlier um, and save this. So now when we go to the content section, newsletter studio will use the new template uh, to render the email. So um, the actual web page still looks the same, still has the same content, but when you look at the newsletter, uh, it will remove everything else. And this is quite useful because if you go to the settings section, you can actually use um, the template to do whatever you would like. Uh, you know, you can add a macro in here, you can have inline racer, you can do whatever. So I can actually just to show you add the navigation. So um, I'm adding the a navigation macro here, saving, going over to content. If we look at the, the page on the site again, it looks the same. But when we look in the uh, Newsletter Studio preview, we will have the menu here. So this could be used for integrating uh, latest news or whatever you would like to into your newsletters, uh, totally automatic. Um, so I'm going to remove that macro. Um, and then go back to the content section. And um, what we need to do to actually send this right now is to fill out the subject, hello. Um, we can actually use the name in here. So we'll insert the subscriber's name here. And then uh, my email is, um, 
Marcus uh, the Incomita.se and my name is of course uh, Marcus Johansson and this will be the name that will be used in the email as the sender so uh, that's quite cool um, one thing that I would want to show you before uh, sending this is that if I go over here and edit the content of this newsletter and then back to the newsletter tab uh, before I can actually send this um, I need to save and publish and the reason for that is that Newsletter Studio actually downloads the live page uh, and that means that you have to publish the page before Newsletter Studio can download it. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to choose here I'm going to send this to the default uh, and the test mailing list and it's just a matter of starting the send out so I'm going to click send now and uh, confirm it and this will send my newsletter.